ABSL Summit. Beyond Tomorrow. Building a Sustainable Future. We are uh, switching to our next agenda point with the case study, uh, the first one today. Starting with changing expectations of engagement, mobility, flexibility, um, it all puts organizations on a hotspot uh, to redefine their workplace relationship with employees, stakeholders, regula regulators and local communities. Business need to contribute to the community and become part of its ecosystem and infrastructure with safer and more attractive locations. So, let us unlock Olivia's Center's case study and learn where business meets community. So, let's welcome on stage the board, represent Good? Yeah, the board representative for public relations, Bogusław Wieczorek and Environmental, Social and Governance ESG Officer at Olivia Business Center, Hamish Potts. Do you want a glass? Sure. Good afternoon. I am Bogusław Wieczorek. Good afternoon. I'm Hamish Potts. Just a quick glass of water. Let us begin. It is October 2011. In Gdańsk, Northern District of Oliva, the center of Tri-City Conurbation, the first buildings of Olivia Business Center are being opened for business. This uh, marks the beginning of the area's transformation from peripheral, low-rise industrial units to the central business districts of Tri-City. Over the next 10 years, seven more buildings will be added, and a multitude of companies, from global brands to local professionals, will make Olivia their home. From state-owned companies to business associations and diplomatic missions. Many companies will grow from small project teams to multi-floor residents. And more than 10,000 people per day will visit Olivia to work, share ideas, create, work out and spend leisure time. It is summer 2015. The first 04 co-working center is opened in our Olivia 4 building. Run by Olivia, 04 has of course the rooms and desks to rent, conference rooms, phone booths, and the ever-present table football, but it also starts to create a community engagement platform that will operate throughout the whole of the Olivia Center. By 2021, there will be four different 04 co-working areas to choose from, each with its own distinct flavor. It is July 2019. A unique addition to Olivia Center is opened as the top three floors of Olivia Star Building, the tallest building in Northern Poland, is opened to residents and the public for the first time. While the top floor provides a stunning uh, conference space and two top-class restaurants, it is the view and the 360-degree panorama that really takes the breath away. The views take in from coast from Gdynia to Sobieszewska Island at the far, far end of Gdańsk. Uh, in clear moment, the Hell Peninsula can be seen despite being 25 kilometers away. The view continues round, taking from the city center, the busy districts of Wrzeszcz, Zaspa, and Oliva itself, and the remarkable rolling hills of the Tri-City Landscape Park, green in summer and burning brown, orange, yellow, and red in autumn. It all reminds us that we're in the middle of a metropolis, between the forest and the sea, in the business, academic, and cultural center of the region, a magnet for the best people. Every day, Olivia hosts thousands of committed people pursuing their passions, developing their businesses, people who like to spend time with other like-minded people. Our commitment to them and to the community they create is natural, as is Olivia Garden. Open this year, our garden is a great example how seriously we treat our residents' community. The start of this huge project begins several years ago with an open survey 
uh, our residents told us then that they would like a space where they could uh, have contact with nature, where they could uh, relax and take a break from their daily office routines. Over 1,450 community events have been organized by Olivia to this day. Yoga club in the Olivia garden, working out in the Olivia park, a special area created next door to Olivia for outdoor activities, where we built a beach volleyball court this summer. We have photography club, running club, guided walks around Olivia, guided bike rides around the wider region, video club, tandem language club, league of adventures, parents club, board games club, Latino dance club, expeditions club. All of these create a sense of community which is hard to replicate. Over 95,000 people have attended our community events in total. You have a really good chance of getting to meet people with similar interests, of making new friendships, or developing and deepening the friendships that you already have. To feel that you actually belong to this place, whether you're an expat, such as myself, or you were born and raised in the local neighborhood. And this is how we could end our story, that we all lived happily ever after. But there's a twist. We're getting used to living with COVID now, but at the beginning, at the outbreak, it was a little bit scary, and there were lots of uncertainty and unknowns. It is March 2020. The world is coming to realize that the coronavirus presents challenges and problems uh, on a scale not seen in our lifetimes. The information coming from world leaders leaves more questions than answers. Our workplaces are depopulating as we do most of our office work locked down at home. At Olivia, a crisis team uh, has been assembled that will meet once a day online, every working day for the next year and even longer to decide upon uh, the best methods of keeping uh, the uh, resident workers and their companies and guests as safe as possible. However, there is a delicate balancing act to be kept. The Olivia community must be kept 100% safe, yet they don't want to be made to feel unwelcome or uncomfortable. After many, many hours of discussion, plans are drawn up and many, many solutions are implemented. To name just a few, our ventilation systems are adjusted and maxed out. Our parking cha is changed so that people can park wherever there's most space. We introduce one-way systems throughout all of our buildings. All the high-touch elements in all common areas are coated with a titanium oxide coating that's normally used in facilities with very high hygiene standards, such as hospitals or food production plants. This coating means that any bacteria, fungi, or viruses that come into contact with it are broken down into carbon dioxide and water and no longer pose a threat to health. Ionizers are installed in the air handling unit at Olivia. Positive and negative ions are released into the air, which combine with the microparticles. When they combine, there's a chemical reaction that takes place. The proteins in the microparticles are destroyed, and they can no longer enter the human cells. Very clever stuff. Very clever indeed. So clever, in fact, that these technologies are used in private jets and even in the White House. Thanks to all of the above, Olivia Business Center in 2021 becomes the first office center in the world, in the whole world, uh, to get top marks from the International Wealth Building Institute. The World Health and Safety Rating underlines our commitment to keeping our community safe, and the safety of building uh, has been now verified and is assured. Meanwhile, in June 2020, we've just carried out a survey amongst our residents. Office versus home office. 80% of respondents said that they miss conversations and meetings with their colleagues. So while the business world is taking their regular meetings to Zoom and to Teams meetings, we're moving our communities online as well. Uh, many, many of our clubs are hosting virtual meetings, and a number of our, we create a number of special webinars to help people adjust to the hardships of constantly being at home. How to, main, how to maintain mental health, how to deal with one computer in the house when everybody needs it at the same time, uh, how to concentrate in a house full of noisy animals, or noisy kids, <laughs> the same thing. Um, or how to keep positive despite all the challenges that are being thrown at us. We held dozens of webinars with specialists regarding mental health, regarding the dynamically changing legal, legal world, and also for developing new passions. These films now have had over 100,000 views in total, 
with the most popular ones being about learning new languages, or the art of cooking with our Michelin-starred chef, Antonio Arcieri, from our Trienta y Tres restaurant. During early COVID, many people who knew each other from activities organized in Olivia started grassroots voluntary actions. Among them, the Laptops for Students campaign that together with Axiom, Energa, and Decent Group provided over 65 laptops and computer sets for local kids that would otherwise uh, have had real problem with the remote learning. Other groups of volunteers took care of elderly people, provided them with food and Easter packages. These initiatives are some of the many that over the following years, following year, will, follow, will fall under the Razem Możemy Więcej hashtag. Together we can do more. Uh, it's aimed at helping the local community get through the worst of the pandemic, pandemic crisis. We also finance, designed, and built many modules. The first standalone walk up test units for COVID in Poland provided them for the hospitals in Gdańsk, along with the respirator, fumigator, and over 12,000 meals for the frontline staff working in local hospitals. Every evening, a huge heart can be seen from all over the Tri City on the facade of the Olivia Start building. We have been lighting up this night sky with this heart since the early days of pandemic as a gesture of thanks to all of the key workers, medical staff, and everybody who have been risking their own health to take care for others. It is May 2021, though through the worst of COVID's third wave, we've not forgotten about the commitment to our community. And though delayed by the pandemic, we finally open our Olivia Garden. Close to 9,000 cubic meters of space is filled with greenery that allows you to take a breath and to fill your senses and your lungs with freshness and vitality. The proximity to thousands of plants, combined with the wonderful noises of the jungle, allows you to get so close to nature that for a moment or two, you can just forget about what you have to do back in the office. More importantly, the opening of the garden for many people is a sign that even though, despite the pandemic, some signs of normality are returning to our lives, that some of the projects that have been shelved are being restarted and being finished, that there are places you can go to once again to meet friends without masks, where you can work and relax, just like normal, where you can start to live your life again. It is June 2016. The Olivia Yacht Club sets sail for the first time. In the following years, European and world champion and Olympic Games gold medalist Mateusz Kuszniewicz will lead the training regime for willing Olivia residents, preparing them for monthly regattas, learning the ropes and the knots, and getting to know how to maneuver their yachts around the Blue Stary Bay of Gdańsk. Three years after the inaugural meeting of the club, a team from Olivia with Boris Malinowski from PwC, Bartek Glinka from Omida, along with the Olivia's own helmsman, Maciej Gotarski, navigated by Mateusz Kuszniewicz, will win the Business Sailing League. Though suspended in 2020, uh, the club sails through the COVID storm. All the spaces for the first sailing group in 2021 were taken within 15 minutes of its announcement on Facebook. It is 2018. One of the center heads who has been at Olivia since his company first took space in the very first building, an accordion and bongo playing baritone, who might be here somewhere, but I'm not sure, uh, starts the Bayer Choir. The choir will expand over the coming years, allowing voices from other resident companies to join to share their passion for singing. COVID stopped the meetings in person, and despite the difficulties of online singing practice, the choir lived on and lives on. And only last month, the choir took part in a concert that was open to the public in the Olivia Garden. It's 2021. Impressed by the multitude of uh, initiatives undertaken by our residents and their employees, in June we awarded the most impressive with our inaugural Olivia Prize. We, being the community, business community of Olivia itself, comprising of representatives of seven different uh, companies in Olivia and choosing from several dozen applications in three categories. Olivia Pro Bono for social projects, Olivia Business for economic or business uh, ventures implemented by residents of Olivia, and Olivia Global for such ventures of global nature. The next edition of Olivia Prize will feature a new category, Echo Olivia, for a project or initiative uh, with green or eco aims. So to sum things up, we're convinced that the multidimensional community and numerous activities in which it manifests itself is the foundation of Olivia's functioning. 
Now, in preparation for post-pandemic times, we believe this more than ever. We know this from many discussions with our residents, regardless of their rank in the corporate hierarchy. CEOs of large companies, office managers, freelancers, employees, everyone can find something for themselves. For many of them, returning to their old groups of friends to the small joys of everyday life was an impulse to go to the office. But hard numbers also speak volumes. The return of people to offices in Olivia has been really encouraging, with figures way above the average for offices in Poland. Each company now has to deal with team building in hybrid mode. We're not going to cite the reports about company culture, durability, onboarding, or creativity being best in person, because you already know all of these reports. We are social animals. Aristotle already stated this truth. You cannot treat work and business in isolation from our basic human needs. The last 18 months have in many cases been a progressive social atrophy with the disintegration of existing ties, unless we decide otherwise. When work in theory uh, can be done just as well from home as in the office, there must be a reason to convince each of us uh, to make an effort to leave the house. It may be an order from a superior, but there may be a great corporate event in, uh, event in uh, Olivia Garden, uh, when rainy atom comes, especially. Or perhaps there is a choir rehearsal and you're the only soprano or tenor. Or maybe you simply need a coffee uh, after work with your friends uh, looking out over the Bay of Gdańsk. Despite what teenagers may tell us, life should not be lived through a screen. Thank you very much. As an end note, just as a postscript, the last and most recent example of our wonderful community was joining the region-wide action Chisty Baltic. Just two weeks ago, nearly two tons of rubbish was collected along 500 kilometers of Polish coastline in an initiative that was open to everybody. Olivia hosted the, those involved in the organization. And what's more, we've also made a public commitment to the global community to implement universal sustainability principles by joining the United Nations Global Compact. It's all happening at Olivia. Come and see it for yourselves. Thank you. Thank you. I'll leave you with a little film. Resilience, maturity, talents, growth, innovation, the change made us stronger, this all made us sustainable. ABSL Summit, beyond tomorrow, building a sustainable future.